Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure port security on a Cisco switch. So I have this topology here, just one switch, and there are three laptops connected to it. So I have these nodes. So what is port security? Port security is basically what you're doing here is what you're doing is you are identifying the MAC addresses that are allowed to access the port and you are also limiting the, the number of MAC addresses that are allowed to access the port. There are three types of secure MAC addresses. One is static. Uh, number two is dynamic MAC addresses. Number three is static or sticky <clears throat> MAC addresses. So static MAC addresses is something that you configure and this is not really, <clears throat> excuse me, practical. And dynamic is basically, this is what the IP address, I mean the MAC address in the MAC address table. And sticky is, this is what the switch is doing is basically learning the MAC addresses from the workstation and saving it in the running config. So dynamic is, will go away when uh, the switch restarts. Sticky MAC address is something that you have to, if you don't want it to go away when the switch restarts, you have to save it in the startup configuration because it's just only configured, I mean, save in the running configuration. So there are also, I mean, there are four violation modes. <clears throat> One is protect. Number two is restrict. Number three is shutdown, and number four is shutdown VLAN. <clears throat> so, in the real world, I mean, real world shutdown, <clears throat> or this is what we configured at work, or at least on the switches at uh, work. And protect is basically just, <clears throat> you know, stopping the traffic, but <clears throat> not really sending an SNMP logs or traps. Uh, Restrict is also uh, stopping the traffic, but, uh, but at the same time, sending SNMP traps. So this, this is the command or commands to enable a security port. So let me go ahead and configure it. So I have this topology here, like I said, and, I, and this is the switch. So basically, this is how you configure it. <clears throat> so fast zero slash one is connected to laptop zero. FA zero slash two is connected to laptop one, and this port is connected to laptop two. So I'm going to configure fast Ethernet zero slash one. Just copy and paste that command. And the prerequisite is you have to, <coughs> excuse me, you have to make the port access port first before you can uh, go ahead and configure port security. And that's how, how you make the port access port. And this is how you enable port security. I'm going to just copy and paste these commands just to make it quicker. And this is how you limit the number of MAC addresses allowed to this port. And this is how you uh, specify the violation mode. So in this case, shutdown. So I'm going to just show you the other uh, violation modes. So this switch, this particular switch, which is not really a real switch, does not support shutdown VLAN. So it only has protect, restrict, and shutdown. But in, in a real world, or at least you know the, the modern switches should support shutdown VLAN as well. Okay, so last command is setting up the aging time. And that's how you configure it. Uh, so the, the learning mode that we are using 
in this scenario is just the this learning mode here, the na dynamic secure MAC address. And number two is this is using the sticky learning. I mean number two. Um, with this part, we're going to configure the sticky MAC address or sticky learning on this port. So I'm going to just copy and paste because this is just the difference. This this command here from this port. So I'm just going to copy and paste these commands to make it quicker. And last commands, last sets of commands are these. So basically what I'm going, what I'm doing here is I'm specifying the MAC address or manually configuring the MAC address. So that would be the, the static secure MAC address. So copy and paste, paste these commands and done. So these are the commands to verify support security. So uh, you can specify the port, uh, but again, this, this switch is not really a real switch. I'm going to just say show run. And these are the <clears throat> configurations. So basically, uh, maximum one is the default command, so it doesn't show here. And also the violation shutdown is also default, so it doesn't show here as well. And this is the command you have to remember to verify port security. So you see that all these ports are configured and the violation action or security action is shut down for all of them. And if you want to see the learned MAC addresses, you can uh, use that command. So it's learning this command, I mean this MAC address, because this is something that we configured. It's not learning, but it's configured statically. So it's also in the running config, as we see here. Yeah, and this one, another command that you can use, and this one also. And this here, this command is, this is the command that you configure if you want, you know, the port to automatically uh, enabled after it has been error disabled. And this is something that you should configure as well if you before it before this particular um, if, you, if you prefer that kind of scenario. So I'm going to just test this. So I'm, what I'm going to do is perform these steps. But before I do that, I'm going to just perform a quick ping from laptop zero, laptop one, just laptop zero to, and I memorize the, the IP address. The IP address should be this IP address. This is laptop one and laptop three, I mean two is, has that IP address. And if I go back to the switch and issue this command, so we see that this MAC address is dynamic, dynamically configured meaning this is coming from the MAC address table. And this here is, um, has been learned using sticky learning. So, so it says secure is sticky. And this one is something that we configured statically as we can see here, same MAC address. Yeah. And if we verify the, just the MAC address table, we see that this MAC address has this, I mean, it's coming from this port, which is correct. 
So going to test this, going to uh, delete this disconnection and <clears throat> connect connect this port to not the laptop but <clears throat> the PC. <clears throat> So PC has a IP address of, I believe, 10. Yeah, 10.10.10.10. .10 so I'm going to ping laptop 0. So what I expect to happen is that the port will go into error disabled mode, which what we see here. So we see that the indicator light is now red. So if we go to the switch and just issue this command, whoops, not static, status. We see that the port is now in the error disabled mode or status. So just following the, these step, steps here, yeah, to verify so I'm going to connect the original laptop back and see what happens. So I'm going to delete this again. Oops. Come back here. Connect this port to laptop one. And we see that the port is still in <clears throat> error disabled mode. So what we have to do is issue a shot or no shot so basically we are going to bounce the port so that's what i'm going to do now save the config and if we ping from laptop zero to laptop one it should ping it. It's going to take a while. <clears throat> Let me fast forward because span entry is working in the background. Yeah, now it's working. So that's how you can configure port security on a switch. So again, um, <clears throat> there are three types of secure MAC, address, MAC addresses and four types of violation mode actions. And <clears throat> so what something that you have to remember is um, if you know that if you're not going to restrict a port to just a particular person, it doesn't I mean using using sticky learning is not practical. So at work we're not we're not really using this because um, <clears throat> we saw what happened here, that when another person connect to the same port, uh, that person will not use the, will not be able to use the port or get to the network because the other person, the original person was, MAC address was uh, still in the uh, port, in the port or th that's the, MAC address that was in the running config, <clears throat> or at least on the table of the, you know, the this command or this command. Okay, so yeah, that's how you can configure, verify, and test port security. So if you like this video, uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.